Alrighty, well hello there. Here we are on whatever day of the week it is. <laughs> it's September 24th, 2020 at 727 p.m. up here in Northeastern Ohio. And tonight we have two cameras running. Yay! <laughs> we have the Canon RA camera with the 50mm f1.4 Canon lens on there for the wide field of view. And we have that refurbished Canon R camera with the RF 800 millimeter lens and 2x extender. And the great thing about the Canon R is it has the 5 to 10x magnified zoom, which we're going to test out here. And of course, I am testing this camera to make sure all is right with it. Okay, and there we are with the 5x. Let's stroll around here. Ooh. That's too fast. Sorry, I'm having issues here with the handset again. <sighs> Pain in the butt. Okay, so we'll start off with the 5X and take a stroll around before, if I can get my handset to work. Rawr. Brand new handset. Brand spanking new. Piece of crap they make nowadays. It's, uh, it's just ridiculous. The third handset I've had to get. Uh, Alright, finally got it going. <clears throat> Alright, sorry for the bitch. <laughs> but so far it's looking quite good at the 5X. This might be a little bit slow. Let me change the rate. And I believe the moon is 60% lit. This is a good phase for seeing the features on the moon. of the craters and the mountain ridges and what have you up there. Alrighty, and here we go with the 10X. This is what I wish the Canon RA, the Astro camera, had this extra magnify zoom. It just goes from 5 to 30 and, oh my. It's hard to do any focusing with that. Uh, camera at 30x. Ah, this is really nice. Won't have to do a crop zoom. Well, I could. But this zooms in closer than the Nikon P1000 does. That one goes up to 12,000 millimeters, and right at the moment we're at 16,000. Yeah, I'm liking this. Oops, I missed her. There it is. <laughs> we were so zoomed in, I missed our Mesa and Light Beam area. There we go.
Now tonight we're going to have all three together, real close. The moon's down probably about the 4 o'clock position from Jupiter. And I see on the other camera it's uh, starting to show through, even though I can't see it by eye yet. So I'll wait a few minutes longer before heading over. Take another stroll around here. That one, that one spot up there in the top left wish we had a better view of an angle for it, but it looks like a skid mark. And we go back down to the 5X. Alright, so far I'm quite happy with how the Canon R is doing. I'm always leery about refurbished items. You never know. <laughs> but for what little tests I put it through yesterday and now with the moon, I'm not seeing any issues. No, I can barely see Jupiter by eye. It's still pretty light outside. But we're going to try to have this take us over there. Alrighty, there we go, with an overexposed Jupiter, and all four of its moons are showing tonight. Io is the one over to the right, and the other three are over, trailing behind there. <laughs> but there we go. The bands are coming in kind of okay. We're at the 10X. Let me try at 5, though. Okay, and so there we are at the 5X, and we can see how small it is on the screen. And there we are at the 10X. Um, I wish it was coming in a bit better. Our sky conditions are not great. We had a complete whiteout all day today, morning, afternoon, and night. So there's still a lot of haze, and whatever else up there. <laughs> it's too bad because I believe Jupiter's great red spot is coming around into view in the lower left hand corner. Oh well, I don't see it here, doggone it. Yeah, it's just not coming in good enough. Oh well. Okay, and just for a reference, this is with no magnified view, which put it at 1600. And there's 16,000. Alrighty, you know where we're heading next. <laughs> now Titan has moved again. It's down around the 6 o'clock position. But we're going to get a ring partner in here. Alrighty, so there we go at 5X. And the 10X. That I have to get a clip of too. Alrighty, there we go. Saturn seems to be coming in pretty well at the 10x view. Sorta, kinda. <laughs> and looking over at the wide field of view, we can see the formation of the moon and two planets there. There's not a single star showing up here though. They just can't cut through the haze in our regular light pollution also. I am quite surprised how well the moon and the two planets here are doing though. And just so you know, of what I can see by eye is uh, 
of course the moon and Jupiter is barely shining through. I can't see Saturn at all. And it's funny with the uh, wide field of view by eye I can see the tree much better. And it's not near as dark as that. But if I change up it'll be too bright in the sky. But there we go on our testing night. I have a feeling that when we have better sky conditions, the planets will come in even better at the 10X. And for those few people who do have the Canon R cameras, you can't capture the 5 to 10X or 5 to 30X, whatever, when recording into the camera. You can only do it when recording externally. You can still use it in photo mode and before you hit record on the camera, you know, just to uh, enlarge it and make sure you have your focus, but it won't be recorded internally. But I do love the extra reach it gives us. We wouldn't be able to do this at all. They'd just be way too tiny like that. I mean, you can barely see that tiny speck there on the screen. And that is our 1600. And that is our 16,000, which I'll probably have already done a crop zoom in Final Cut Pro. Maybe not. We'll see how large it comes out on the monitor. We might have to crop it just a little bit. But anyway, there's really not much else to see here. Because, like I said, our skies are really nasty. <laughs> okay, on the last trio's note here, we're going to wave goodbye from northeastern Ohio. I hope you're all doing well and having a great week here. So, please take care and have a safe one, but fun too. <laughs> Alright, it's now 8.01 p.m. up here. Bye now. do. I don't know how well this will come out. Phew, took all that equipment in. It's tough. <sighs> now to pack this one up. There we go.